with another D-Stash video. And this is going to be a lightning round, I think, because I want to get through at least three D-Stash lots. I have actually four lots, but we'll get into that in just a moment. First of all, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but I want to apologize for the lighting and the um, shadows. Um, I am in the middle of reorganizing and relocating my craft room and I will actually have an update hopefully this week on that. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the D stash lots. So the first lot I have is the mystery box and I don't recall what is in this box. I think someone may have requested a box of goodies and then for some reason maybe didn't pay for it or change their mind I really do not remember but I weighed this box it weighs six pounds and 12 ounces so almost seven pounds and um, I want to do a poll here let me know if you would like to purchase this box as is as a mystery box if so I will offer it for $24 if you would like to see what's in the box I can open the box on video with you guys and then I'll just charge a bit more um, for the box depending on what is inside. But if you're willing to take a chance, if you like mystery boxes, I will offer this one for $24 unopened and um, I'm sure it is packed. I usually try to pack the um, D stashes that I put together. So just let me know in the comments below what you prefer on this box. So moving on, the first box I have here is going to be, it's actually not a box, it's going to be the a padded flat rate envelope. And this lot is going to be a bit cheaper. This one is going to be $15 shipped. So I am going to call this one the Corella DeVille. It is um, mostly black and white. There are a few other things that I put inside the envelope because I had room in the box, but you are going to get this feather trim and this is new in packaging. Let me see. It does not state what type of feathers, but there are four of those. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby for a project that I never completed, so you'll get that. Here are some black photo corners, some adorable Marilyn Monroe thank you cards. These are the last two. I had a lot of these, I believe I purchased at Michael's and um, that was years ago. And so these are the last two. This one has a little bit of peeling on it, but it can definitely be used as some sort of insert in a junk journal or a craft project. I have some black and white um, alphas here. I was trying to see if it included numerics too, but it does not. It's just alphas. And some really pretty, it says gift tags, but it's stickers. So I don't know. I think it was part of Target's Christmas um, packaging several years ago. So I don't I guess I used maybe a couple. So I just used a couple of the letters. And actually I remember what I used them for. I used the letters for some totes that I save my grandson's artwork and some school um, papers in. So RJL, that's what I did. So. Uh, the rest is still in there and then here is a bag of all sorts of different things. Here's some of those chalkboard stickers 
And there's two packages of those, brand new. And here is a note card. And as I said, this is all black and white. Here's some more of the Michaels note cards. They say love. And this note card, I think is handmade if I'm not mistaken. And I think I may have received it in a swap, but it is so cool. I'm not sure how she did it, but it's um, like print block, I think. And that might be some sort of paint or ink, but that is so beautiful. There's some rhinestone um, adhesive embellishments, some creative tags, and they open up and you can put a picture. You can put a picture or something inside there. You can also use these for um, gift wrapping, I think is why I purchased them. Here's just some um, tags, some vintage buttons, and some more tags. I'm not even sure if I used any of these. And some cute little paper doilies, or glitter, rather. And some chipboard pieces. And then a few other little pieces here. Um, I believe this is journal spots and photo corners. More photo corners. Here's some little chipboard pieces. More little, um, I guess you can use these for journaling spots. And more journaling spots. And then I had room in the back. Oh, here's some black and white ribbon. I had room in the package, so I am including this. I believe it's vintage. I did use some pages out of it, but look. It is vintage. Look at the nice wear around the edges. And it is... Um, I cannot find a date, but you can see that it is obviously vintage by the um, aging around the pages, but it is so cool. It is supposed to be um, the 1894 to 1895 Montgomery Ward and Company catalog. It's definitely not from that period. It's probably from maybe the 80s or 90s, I guess, but um, it would be perfect for junk journals and things like that, so you'll get that. And then there was still room in the envelope, so I'm also including one of the embellishment kits I put together, and it just has all sorts of different items for making craft projects and junk journals, and just um, any type of any type of craft projects that you do. So that is everything. As I said, this one is going to be fifteen dollars shipped. Okay, so I want to move a little more quickly with these next lots. Let's see, this is I think just a mixed lot. I don't think there's really a theme this lot but you will get some vintage gift wrap this has never been opened here's some of the vintage post office gift wrap a couple vintage doilies actually a few there are three and some tool Here are some vintage 
images. Um, and those are some beautiful images. I just could not throw these out. I think they would look beautiful in some sort of junk journal. These are stickers, I believe. Yes, these are stickers. Those are so cute. And then we just have some cardstock papers here. They were kind of in the center of those. I'm just going to leave those in there. And here's some nice quality envelopes. Great for coffee staining or tea dyeing. And more cardstock papers. I am trying to remember to keep this going um, a little more quickly. Some envelopes. Um, I'm not sure this, I'm not sure what this came on, but it's perfect for some sort of craft. Here is a heart with some stamping on it. Another envelope. And here is a vintage, um, what are these, index card separator things. Here is a, um, what are these called, postlets, I believe. Uh, let's see how many is in here. There are three in there. And another envelope. Here is um, an insert and some die cuts, more die cuts. And I guess this went with this. So there is that. And um, just all, is it Friday yet? I wish, but today is Halloween. So I am, it's one of my favorite holidays. So I am so happy for that. And that is adorable. Some cardstock. Here's some vintage letter paper. And another one of those embellishment kits that is going in. What else do we have here? Here is, I'm not even sure what's in here. I just started throwing stuff in boxes, trying to make some sort of themed boxes. But this one is just... Um, all sorts of different things. This is a bag of jewelry pieces. It looks like some seashells and um, beads and things. And this, I believe I was going to use it on a bracelet I was making. I can't remember what this is called. It's not ceramic, but um, I glued the vintage rhinestones on to make it just a little bit prettier. So you will get that. Here are some note cards. Look how cute that is. This one is handmade. I, I did not make this, but it is handmade. And here's some vintage note cards. Some envelopes that go with the note cards. Here is... Okay, this is 2010, so not quite vintage on that one. Here is a hand-stamped thank you card. It is really pretty. This paper is gorgeous. Um, I received this in a craft swap, and this is what I have left, and the paper was just so gorgeous. But you will get that. I am also including this book with the um, seahorses on it. I thought it would make a great journal cover and um, you could also use the pages. The bind is kind of missing there, but I know uh, people out there are so crafty and could probably still use this. This is 1962. And then I also have a packet here of goodies. There's some hem tape and some blanket binding. And all of this is vintage. Some um, lace 
seam binding, I think. Um, things to do. I have lots of things to do. Some envelopes and special note paper here. What is this? Here's a leaflet. And envelope. Here's some vintage papers with some nice aging. And this is beautiful vintage note paper. So I believe that is it for that box. It is just a mix. We can call it the a seahorse lot. Okay, so this next lot is going to fill a medium flat rate shirt box and it is jam packed with all kinds of different things. And first off, this box also includes one of the embellishment kits. I really thought I got rid of all of those, but apparently I didn't and um, I found several of the kits so I'm just trying to move those along there's a lot of really cool stuff in there for all sorts of different crafting projects lots of vintage um, canceled stamps and a little package of all sorts of different things and some of the, what are these called? Slides, I think. So I know that people love using these for crafting projects. And a little bag of vintage buttons. And here is some vintage ribbon or trim. There's a vintage yo-yo. And some vintage eyelet lace. This is not vintage, it's older, but um, probably like early 2000s, I think. Another yo-yo, here is another yo-yo. And this, I believe I put together as a travel themed lot. Here is a hanky. This is vintage, but it looks like it's in really good condition for being vintage. Here's um, an envelope. And more envelopes, always good for tea dyeing or staining with coffee. Here's some really cute note cards. These are 1991, these are vintage. And here is a vintage envelope. Here's some fabric tags. And here is a note card. Leonardo da Vinci. Every obstacle yields to stern resolve. That's the truth. He, he who is fixed to a star does not change his mind. That is also true, I think. So this box is just loaded down here is a doily. Here's some tags that, um, they are new address tags that you can mail out to people when you move, but I used them. I just embellished over them and covered them and used them for inserts. Here I have a stack of maps of all sorts of different countries and I think states and they came out of I believe an encyclopedia that I used for a baby book that I created. Um, I received a 
box or two of encyclopedias that had some damage and they were going into the landfill and um, a coworker of mine asked me if I would like them. And of course I told him yes, because I knew that I could rescue them and use them for baby books and junk journals. And so I did not have the heart to throw these out. They're beautiful and I figured they would go great in a junk journal or some sort of crafting project. Here I am showing you each and every one because I just, I think they're so beautiful. And I told you I was going to try to get through this quickly. Um, I think this is some vintage wrapping paper, if I'm not mistaken. And some of those creative tags. You will get two packages of those. Here are some, these are stickers, but um, you can definitely, I used them for embellishments. So you'll get, here are some, I think these are epoxy if I'm not mistaken, photo corners. And some 1955. These are some tickets. Fruit and pro okay, I remember these now. I did not realize I had some of these left. This box is just packed. Somebody is going to get a great deal on this box. Here are some vintage postcards. Lots of vintage postcards. That is new, never been opened. Here is a handmade thank you card. And I'm including it in this box because uh, I am calling this a travel related or travel themed box and it has bikes on there. So I thought it would go. Um, here's some envelopes, some parchment paper envelopes. There's some gray vintage um, seam binding or seam tape. I can't remember which one it's called. Here are some, what are these? Stamp hinges. I don't know what these are. I'm not sure what those are, but I'm sure somebody will, or you can use the packaging for something. Here's some uh, vintage mounting corners. These are black, white, gold, and silver. It has not been opened, so you'll get that. Oh my goodness, this box is just packed. Some vintage buttons, more vintage buttons. The majority of them are vintage anyway. Some might be a little bit newer, but for the most part, I think they are vintage. Here is a little paper flower embellishment. Some vintage um, money from a game. Here's some tags. Here's a cork tag. Another vintage yo-yo. Another tag. get a huge bag of those. Here's some tiny little tags and a vintage card. Here is a souvenir letter card and it folds out. More vintage postcards. stock envelope here is a little blue book of phone numbers and this is from southwestern bell
some more pieces of cardstock. Here is a vintage playing card, the Hawaiian Islands. And okay, it looks like there's, see, I don't even know what I have here. There's just so much stuff. So, um, I'll just get through this or try to get through it pretty quickly. Here is a vintage greeting card. It looks like, I think that's German. I could be wrong. And more vintage postcards. So this box is just packed with all sorts. There's more photo corners. Look at that, isn't that pretty? I think peacocks are just so beautiful. There used to be one, okay, yeah, this is exactly what I was getting ready to tell you. The St. Louis Zoo um, used to have a peacock that just walked around freely. I don't know if it's still there or if they still have one. Okay, here is, I'm not sure what this is, some denim type fabric or might be an iron on type fabric, I'm not sure. Here are some playing cards, I believe. Yes. Here is uh, a piece of an old dollar. I'm including that. More vintage postcards. And 368 pounds. That would not fit in my front yard. Okay, so more postcards there. More of those vintage envelopes. Another postcard. More postcards, more envelopes for coffee staining. And another postcard, more postcards. There's a lot of postcards. I probably could have broken this up into a couple different lots so several people would have an opportunity to get some of this great stuff. Here is um, some vintage seam binding. There's a patch, some die cuts, um, some pieces of cardstock, and here is a vintage note card. I think we're almost getting to the bottom. Um, this came on something um, I purchased for my kitchen, I think, or maybe a gift that I received, but I thought this could be um, altered into something. Here is a die cut, or I'm sorry, a chipboard piece. And here is a vintage, um, I don't know, um, drawer pool or something. There's a felt embellishment, a tag. Then we have some more of the, I would consider these antique because the book, the maps came out of, I believe were from 1911. So I'm going to call these antique pages here. There is a vintage stamp. So you will get more of the book pages. Here is, um, I think this is antique as well. Maybe not. I think it's, if I'm not mistaken, is that 1953? You can correct me below if I am wrong, but I think this is from 1953. And then here's some cardstock paper I thought was appropriate for this particular lot. And then we have the last item, which is, 
a Reader's Digest condensed book. So that is the last lot. And this lot is going to be $34 shipped. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you're interested in lots, they are going to be PayPal, friends and family only. They are going to be US only unless you are willing to pay the difference in shipping for um, any areas outside of the US. Let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching.